everybody. Perhaps the context, truth hurts, truth divides. In an authentic religion, we cannot please everybody because we are expected to deliver the truth that sometimes hurts, including myself and us. Second, our litur liturgical readings this morning in this 20th Sunday in Ordinary Times. In the first reading, for example, the Netflix or the episode speaks about Prophet Jeremiah, one of the popular prophets of his time. His career path or vocation during his time was so high, in fact, most people listen to him. However, we cannot please everybody. There's always an opposition when we tell the truth. In fact, in his context, it was King Hezekiah, who was hard-headed and self-centered king. Prophet Jeremiah, the mouthpiece of God, told his king and the people, you need to listen. You don't need to fight the Babylonian this time because they were so powerful. There's, they are so powerful and our kingdom, our community, our communitas is not yet ready. Wait for the signal and wisdom or knowledge of God. Hezekiah was so mad, was so angry, and we see, the, we see the speech, the movement, and the memory of King Hezekiah. In fact, sa Bisaya at Pag-iingon, itagak si Jeremiah sa tabay. Nga warabay tubig, kundi lapok. He was thrown into the cistern or well with mud and darkness inside. Diba ginaingon sa mga katigulangan, kung sa kakataas, di hapod kalawm asa ka matagak. However, dili man po tanan matagak in a bad way. Look at Prophet Jeremiah. He just told the truth to tell people, for people to prepare, for people to be aware that they need to wait for the signal and command of God. Ezekiel was a self-centered king. His speech, memory, movement, his delight is based on himself, his human control, it's about, um, it's about objective truth based on the human condition. It's about um, his gamut, his utility of the power. It's about his subjective, private subjective worldview. And there's no witness living with, and there's no other element like God. To make the long story short, the people of God was defeated under King Nebuchadnezzar. And eventually, with the guidance of the Lord, this Babylonian king was defeated. Uh, king Nebuchadnezzar was defeated by Cyrus the Great of Persia. And in fact, this uh, king of Persia told the people, you need to go back to where you come from. You need to return to your promised land. You need to go to your communitas. Can you imagine an enemy telling another, telling the people of God, the enemy of the people of God, telling them you need to go back to where you are? Sometimes God allows chaos, trouble, distressing moments for His message, for His intervention to manifest. Oftentimes, uh, we are so biased about the good news. We tend that good news is about graduation, completion, movement. It's about bonus. It's about everything. Sometimes the greatest lesson in life, the greatest message in life does not happen when we are happy, when we are in our convenience zone. The greatest lesson in life happens when we are in difficulty, when we are in the cross. And the cross tells us that we need to sacrifice, we need to be patient enough. The cross tells us that, I said that we need to be patient, that we need to open for life. Life is so big. Life is not limited of the distinctive past. Life is so big that we need to, to be open, to understand, and to help each other to understand this life, including God. So, kasi po, short-sighted, myopic yung mindset ni King Hezekiah, they were defeated against the battle because they were sensitive to the ambassador of God or Yahweh, no other than Prophet Jeremiah. But the whole Netflix or the whole episode of the first reading speaks about if you tell the truth, you cannot please everybody. And to be authentic, you don't need to please. Just like parents telling their children, it's not bad that 24-7, you always wear, you always play gadgets. No wonder in our psalm, it says, 
It is the language of the prophetic outcry of Prophet Jeremiah or us. It says, The Lord help me. Abangay ko kayo, taga ko sa atabay. The salvation is at hand already, sometimes in life, in this contemporary world. The problem is that the salvation is already, the salvatore is already. However, we are not cooperative enough of that salvation. Because we have our own version of salvation. Because of that tendency like Hezekiah, we want to have our own standard, our own way, and our own benchmarking, and our own human control. No wonder makadungog ka sa mga tambay, daghay mamatay sa my way. Because it's not God's way. So, now the whole point of the psalm, it speaks about the prophetic outcry, Lord, help me. Do we allow God to help us in His creative, innovative, and inventive way? Which include darkness and difficulty or trouble? And the second reading, it is... a. Uh, it is very beautiful because aside of the Netflix in Prophet Jeremiah, aside the Psalm, in the second reading, it speaks about another Netflix, another episode, speaks about St. Paul. St. Paul tells us that we need to bear the pain, the sacrifice, the cross. Most people today are into shortcut. Shortcut. Maunang bulikat, ginaingon sa mga tambay. So here, my dear friends, for us really to achieve resurrection, resurrection happens in the situation of suffering and death in a literal or figurative sense. You know what? It's not really we need to cut the suffering and death and then the resurrection. It's in the situation of suffering and death that the Lord manifests that He is God. In fact, in pandemic times, in, dif in difficult moments, in pandemic times, in difficult moments, yung Pilipino po lumalabas nagtutulungan the fruitfulness of the church does not happen in happy happy moment the blood of the martyr is the seed of the church catholic christian spreads throughout the world not in convenient moment but in the cross but in the suffering sa kalisod mugimaw gyud ang pagkakatoliko kristiano so all we need really is to be patient enough we need to take up our cross. Why is it difficult for the concept and the praxis or the applied theory to meet each other? Why is that most people are good in words but never in action? Why is it that the internal and the external doesn't meet to each other? Why is that there's no marriage in terms of culture and culture? In the workplaces, private or public, why is it difficult for the vision of a certain institution to be, to be married with your own vision because there's no element of sacrifice. For us really to meet the vision, the personal vision and the institutional vision in order for us to meet the internal and the external, the word and action, we need to have flex. We need to bend. We need to sacrifice. In fact, in accounting, there's no such thing as free lunch. You need to do your part. You need to share. And Jesus does his part, does his cross. And Jesus said, come follow me. Forget yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. And now, the most awaited one is about the gospel. Makahadlok ato ibanghelyo, pero don't understand it as a literal sense. You can understand it in a spiritual sense. When Jesus, I have come to set the earth on fire. How can you imagine an earth, not a Mars, without a fire? The first science happens in fire. Fire, fire according to the Bible scholar, it symbolizes purification, process, inspiration. In fact, there's a saying, when a person or when a kabad baranon is on fire, he could not stay on a chair. So sa motto sa CITCI, sa Candelar Institute, you care to share. Another line, and how I wish it were already blazing. Pura pa mga minimalist. Wala may magis. Wala'y baga. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized. Okay? 
Can you imagine at the river of Jordan, there was that dove, the Holy Spirit is symbolized by dove, fire, air, water. Yan, ito na yon. How great is my anguish until it is accomplished. If you're angry, let it be without sin. Can you imagine uh, Jesus was so mad, was so angry when Lazarus was died, was died, when the temple was a place of business transaction, not worship anymore, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. However, what tamed his anguish? He is also human, 100%. Kaya nga, he is subject for distress and disturbances, no? Lahat po ng, lahat po ng speech, movement, and memory, lahat po ng distressing and troubling thoughts of the Lord was offered at the cross. Okay. Ito na yun, so I need to face it, I need to carry my cross. Unless there's no admission, there's no conversion. So I need to accept it. This is life. I'm not in Mars, I'm not in heaven. This is earth. Okay. Leave the present moment. Look at Emmanuel. God is with us. Is is linking verb. Refers to present and ongoing present. We need to live at the present moment. Dagay mga tao nga nagpuyo pas kagahapon, di ka move on. Na po yung mga tao nga sigira pag lutok sa umaabot. Leave the present moment. Kaya ang Jesus nga ito na ibawaan kagahapon karong umaabot, maura jud. And then the last part of the second point, do you think that I have come to establish peace on earth? Ito ba mo nga, ni Anhikos Kalibutan, araw magdag kalinaw sa Kalibutan. But what does it mean by peace? Is it political? Diplomatic? Asagara mo sabi tanto pag peace, kana mo smile na tanan, bisag plastika na lang uban, baga kag nawa, para baka nagbayad sa utang. Ting in na ra ba? So, na yung mga bang, <laughs> may mga may lang uban sa atubangan, of course, may ingon ng ginika na, we, we begin that at home. You need to smile, you need to talk to your ate and kuya, o sa hindi ba? Ma-fast lane ang uh, process. Other, di man ko magdumot, pero di ko kalimot. So, kana nga mga hugot and moment ba? Pero now, what does it mean by peace in a Christian perspective? Peace is not the absence of war, but making Jesus as the center of our heart no matter what happens, even though truth bites, even though we cannot please everybody. That is the meaning of peace. In fact, the meaning of Jerusalem is the place of peace. Why? Because the peacemaker of the world was born at Bethlehem, house of bread. Pinapakain po niya tayo kung sino siya, peacemaker. Not pleaser, but truth bearer. Now, no, I tell you, but rather division. The Lord is so loving and good, He divides us to bad. He divides us to fake news. He divides us to false prophet. He divides us of our self-convenience. He divides us that makes us troubling, distressing, and problematic. And very provocative can gain on Jesus, very, very specific. And don't understand this one in a literal only, but in a spiritual sense. He said, from now on, a household of five will be divided. If you are in the truth, you will be divided, of course. Three against two and two against three, a father will be divided against his son. Of course, you need to discipline, you need to tell the truth. A son against his father, a mother against his, her daughter, a daughter against her mother. Can it trending in the Philippines? A mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So what's the whole point here? It's very provo provocative. If we are in the truth, we cannot please everybody because the truth will set us free. However, we touch the convenience of everyone. Why is it difficult to have conversion, including myself? Because we are afraid if we compromise our convenience on andan. Now, to how to end this one? Okay, life lesson. Okay, we are done with the uh, pastoral theological points. Now, real life, real talk. Number one is that we need to appreciate or recognize the modern prophets of our times. The modern prophet, prophet means the mouthpiece of God. I recognize ginato, I appreciate ginato, I commend ginato, appeal nato mga parents, mga lolo, lola, our friends. We need to recognize and appreciate them for telling us the truth. Avery Dulles, one of the 20th century theologians, he said, Christianity or church is not authentic. 
if there's no room for prophetic outcry to tell us the truth. Sa atong bunyag na dawat atong pagkapari, mo sakripisyo, pagkahari, pagpangalagad, and then pagkapropeta, pagsangyaw sa maing balita sa kamatuuran. All of us are prophetic people. Prophetic people. Number one, we need to appreciate or recognize the modern prophets of our times who bring us who bring us to the truth. And second one, we need to accept the fire of Jesus. Bisag sakit, laliman ka ng sunugun ka. We need to accept the purification of the Lord, not in a uniform way, but the Lord respects our pacing. I always believe that I am not a perfect priest, however, deep inside my heart, I offer it to God in His own special way, and in my own pacing, I will become the better version of myself. So we need to accept the blazing fire. We need to be purified. Kumadto mo og Texas, ingon si Bishop Baron, tumo sa you, is there somewhere part there? Nga every year gina mubaga. And after the baga, after the blazing of fire, new plants, grass will emerge. Human sa linog sa abra, makabangon na rang abra. Human sa pandemic, ang Pilipinas makabangon ra. Bisa sa kagumbot sa Taiwan and China, Ukraine and Russia, bisa mahalang itlog ug manok, there will be a time. Even if you look at the, the Bible, tuho wabuho, primordial chaos gina. Even in Revelation, the tactic of the writer is this, to present the chaos so that the Savior will come. Lisod po, muhisgo ta ginoo kung ay panginahanglan. Diba, issue base man ta? Mabitaw mo ingon nga, kung mag-ampu manggali ta, dapat specific ta, ka nang mayingin tangasan. Ni Farsan, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Your Lord, you are so loving and good. Ikaw na bahala tanan. We need to be specific. And now, that's the second lesson. We need to accept, embrace the blazing fire. Which means, we need to be purified by the truth, lessons of the Lord. Every day. Our conscience guides us that way. The third one, last one, it may sound like neuroscience. If you talk about brain, Brain is an organ which is responsible for the speech, movement, and memory. Yeah, it's an organ. We can dissect it. We can assist it. However, it's unusual and complex. If we say that the brain is not just an organ, but if the brain is a mind, ito na yon, parang malalim na siya. If the brain is on the mind, is, is a mind, it implies thoughts. Now, if we reflect, if we think like the Lord Jesus, if we assist the Lord Jesus Christ based on humanity, based on the economy of salvation, we can reflect the gospel readings or the liturgical readings. Perhaps we ask, what's in the mind of the Lord? My brain din siya, kasi tao din siya for 33 years. He was alive. What in his brain? What in his organ? What in his speech, movement, and memory? What in his mind? What in his thoughts? If you talk about thoughts or thought, it speaks about delighting or distressing. Delighting is more on, the manifestation of the mouth is more on good and, and loving. Di ba ganun din si Jesus? When his thought was delighting, of course, consistently, he was in good and loving, no? Gesture. Consistently as well, when he was troubling, of course, he's not limited as 100% human, but he's 100% divine. When he was troubling, he was anguished, no? He was in angst, however, not in a sinful way. I give you proof. When he was in anger, he was angry, he was, was distressing because his best friend Lazaro was died. Suko so, baya siya, nag-wild baya siya sa temple. Kaya ang templo, gihimo na magnegosyo. <laughs> Distort po siya, distressing po siya sa, sa Garden of Gethsemane, laliman ka na magsakit siya, mamatay. Innocente siya. Innocente diti. So here, my dear friends, question ka ron, sa may antidote ni Lord, nga no ang iyang brain, yang organ, yang brain, 
iyang speech movement and memory. Unsa may nakapahimo sa iyang mind, sa iyang thought, delighting amidst distressing when he's when when he obeyed the Father's will. Ikaw na'y bahala amahan sa dihang gipasan niya ang cross. Parihara na sa mga anak na mo take na college sa entrance exam, labi lang wa na-expose unless ang bata dili open, unless ang bata dili siya free. Na may mga bata di mo take og entrance exam kay mahadlok, labi na ng online enrollment, unless ang bata di sa receptive docile and open, in our case, in our context, unless we are open to the cross, we cannot be free enough. And the truth will set us free. Remember this, authentic religion, authentic person, even though we are not perfect, genuine religion, genuine believer, is not a pleaser. We cannot please everybody. And the proof for that is Prophet Jeremiah, the Psalm GKK, the Psalm BEC, St. Paul, and Jesus. However, my dear friends, even though we cannot please everybody, the most important thing is that, on sa man kalibutan, kundi ta makasulod sa aging harian. In the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please all rise. I believe in God, the Father Almighty.